WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Here we've got a mixed bag out here. The Dow is off 140. The S&P is down 3. The Nasdaq's up 41. The Russell is off 2.5. The semis are up 10. Trannies are up 107. What do all those things mean out there? Well, to answer that question, you and I, we're going to go take a look at our indice charts out here. We begin by taking a look at the Dow in the upper left-hand corner. Now, it's a Dow equity future contract that you really want to pay attention to. It has the potential to form a buy I sell the D point pattern we won't get that same signal in the cash indice out here but if we do the signal that we get in the Dow equity future contract will suggest that the Dow cash indice is going to go ahead and make its way for its oscillator and change line that is currently priced about the 34,988 level so the signal would come from the Dow equity future contract in the case of the S&P 500 no no neither the ES nor the S&P have generated a bearish reversal candle yet and therefore they're in an A to B equals CD pattern and price should continue to move higher. The NDX 100, it too was waiting for a bearish reversal candle. That is not likely to occur today, perhaps tomorrow, but perhaps not. And as long as we don't get that, that says the NDX 100 can move higher. The Russell 2000 running right back into resistance, prior resistance, the TD9 count from back on September 22nd. Then you had price get up into this area back on September 27th. Then you had a nice little shooting star on October 15th, which was testing those highs from September the 3rd. And so price is at a natural area of resistance. This may also signal that the Russell 2000, the cash indice, getting ready to pull back to the 2262 level. We really won't get any of those messages until we see some type of bearish reversal candles form. And the Dow equity future contract, as we speak at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, that's the only one that has that possibility. The semiconductors, they look strong like bull, suggest that they want to move higher. The Dow transports are gigantically uh, strong out here. They negated, they formed a TD9 count. They did that on the trading day of October 18th. It basically had a little bit of a hiccup. If that, maybe it was just a light burp on the very next day and then yesterday just simply resumed higher and took out that TD nine count top. The question is, where are the transports headed to? And at this stage, it looks like the transports are gonna try to make their way all the way back to their all time high back from May in twenty twenty one. Folks stay tuned. We've got a wonderful hour lined up for you. The power trading hour with your host David White, Tom O'Brien. He'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 8 a.m., so please turn into the show then. We'll take a look at what those futures markets are communicating to you and I. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. We'll see you soon.